It's a fun time for San Diego State basketball. Uh, we appreciate all the involvement and uh, belief in our students. I had a call at 7 a.m. this morning saying that they were lined up, wrapped around past the rec center to wait to get tickets for Wyoming, which is fantastic. So uh, we are hopeful that we will go up and come back 21 and 0. And I know that's what all Aztec fans are. Nobody nationally has been able to stop him. We've had a hard time in the past stopping him. He's been over 40 points, I think, five times. Uh, so we have to make sure that we make it hard for he and his sidekicks, which are pretty doggone good too, that they don't get a lot of easy looks. And easy is relative. Uh, you know, we can't give him free throws 17 he had against Colorado State. Can't give him layups. Have to contest threes and hope that he's not making all of them. He's unflappable. He, uh, I, I think sometimes people cannot appreciate how good he is. He's lightning quick with the ball, and he can create his own shot. You've seen the range he's got. He's got a tremendously high basketball IQ, and he never loses his focus or composure. He, he's as good a player as, it, as there is in the United States. You've got to be able to guard. Everybody knows that. And there are a lot of things that go into being able to guard BYU. It starts with Fredette, but it doesn't end with Fredette. So they are, they are, I think they're the best running team in the United States. So we've got to do a good job of, of knowing what we're doing with our defensive conversion and doing a good job in that area also, which involves for depth, but it also involves other people that, that, are, that, that know, know that it's an impossible place to play in Pro Bowl. It's a very, very difficult place to play. And uh, we want to win. Our goal is to win. So we're not gonna we're not gonna hold the ball down five at the end of the game so we can keep it close. We're play, we're gonna go and play to win the game. And uh, uh, if we play well, we're gonna have to play well. But if we play well, we'll have an opportunity to win. But we're gonna have to play well. I think they've done a marvelous job as young eighteen to twenty two year olds. Uh, you can't help but swell a little bit when so many people tell you how good you are, et cetera, et cetera. And yet they've maintained a, an ability to come in and focus on practice. Uh, we've had some really good practices of late. They've done a good job of preparing. We've talked about, and I've said this repeatedly, and I know I'm repeating myself, but I use the phrase, embrace where you are in the moment. It doesn't happen very often. Rarely happens to anybody, and it's happening to you. You've earned it. Uh, don't be thinking about being 20 and old. Concentrate on getting ready to beat BYU. And that's all we need to do. And I really believe that uh, nobody has done a better job than our kids at, at dealing with all of that. And I think DJ Gay has been the the linchpin. He's been our point person. He's been the guy that, and I use him, he might be hearing it too much too. You gotta do it like DJ. DJ this, DJ that. He keeps a level of composure that permeates throughout our locker room. And it's not the coaches, it's the players. And when the players have that kind of ownership and what we're doing, and they buy into it, and they are, because, you know, I'm not just DJ, but he sets the tone for us in a lot of things that we do on, along that line. I mean, we'd like to win every game we play. And I, 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 I'm not going to say, well, we have to have a loss before we get into the tournament. I want to be undefeated when we go into Selection Sunday. Won't happen, but probably won't happen, but I'd like to have that happen.